Hello my dear students, good morning. In the last period we have studied about the den um, definition of density. The mass per unit volume of a substance is called density. Repeating, the mass per unit volume of a substance is called density and that is why density is equal to mass by volume. You can even write it this way, it is you know mass divided by volume. Now we should look at the, now here we have a question, arrange the following in the order of increasing density. So we need to arrange the following materials into the order of increasing density. They are the materials like air, exhaust from chimney, honey, water, chalk, cotton and iron. So here uh, we should write their increasing order. So air is the most less dense among all of them. Then the density of exhaust from chimney is more than air because it is like smoke and it has some particles of solid then cotton is more um, dense than exhaust from chimney because cotton has also got lots of air present inside it but water is even more dense than cotton then honey is denser than water then chalk is even denser than honey and then the iron which is the most dense substance among all this. So this is how we can arrange them into the increasing order of their densities. Arrange the following. Remember my dear students that cotton is solid but still it is less dense than water. So this is an interesting thing to note about and yes now we can move on arrange the following substances in the increasing order of their force of attraction between particles so here we need to understand about the force of attraction uh, the various substances given are water sugar and oxygen note that sugar is solid water is liquid and oxygen is a gas what we have studied the force of attraction between the particles of solid, liquid and gas is in order. The force of attraction in solid is greater than the force of attraction in liquid particles. The force of attraction in liquid particle is more than the force of attraction in gaseous particles. So sugar being solid we can say it has got the highest force of attraction among its particles. Then liquid and then gas. So we can write the order of force of attraction that is the decreasing order of force of attraction is sugar is greater than water is greater than oxygen. It's quite simple to understand. Now we can move on to the next question. What is the next question says? Write an activity explaining the compressibility of solid, liquid and gases. Though we have already written that the compressibility of gases is highest so gases are highly compressible and the compressibility of solids are almost zero so we can say that compressibility of solid is almost zero or they are almost incompressible let us understand the same using an activity so let us let us uh, understand an activity. For this, we need a syringe, which is used as a, which is used in the injections. So take 300 ml of syringes, and close their nozzle by the rubber cork. That we'll see into the. See, these two are the um, syringes, and we have, you know, closed their nozzle with the help of the rubber cork. What next? Remove the piston from all syringes. You can see these are the pistons. 
So this piston we are going to remove from the syringe first and apply some Vaseline on the pistons. You know the reason behind applying the Vaseline on the piston is that the pistons can move freely inside this syringe without any kind of friction. Fill chalk piece in one series and water in another or second series. Do not fill anything in the third. So this, so there is air inside the third series. Put piston in each syringe and compress and then not your observation. So we are trying to show you the third one here. In a syringe, the third one we did not fill anything. So there was a gas present inside it. Then we apply pressure to this piston. So piston goes in and the volume of gas can easily be decreased and we can understand that gases are compressible. We can see the another case. Here we have, you know, we have filled uh, some liquid inside the syringe and then we apply pressure on the piston piston goes little bit you know compressed and this liquid can be is like comparatively um, less compressed as compared to gas then we take the first piston in this first piston we have a solid which is a gas piece sorry chalk piece then we apply pressure to the piston piston almost does not feel any kind of pressure and then we can say that the solids are almost incompressible or they cannot be compressed we shall study the observation and conclusion into the next period happy learning